Hey everyone, my name is Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So today I have two image pairings that I've put together in previous videos and for whatever reason, I never made a full collage around, but today we're gonna fix that. The first pairing is a pretty recent one, so maybe you remember it, and that is our manatee that is hugging an eggplant. This is such a funny and cute little pairing. And originally I was gonna put this in my collage journal, but I think that it really deserves an entire collage, an entire big piece of paper, and we'll get this in a really fun scene. So that's the first pairing. The second pairing I've had for many years, so you probably would only remember it if you've seen almost all of my videos, and that is Shovel Man and his pile of dirt. Now I did a similar video concept to this years ago where I finished my abandoned art, and this Shovel Man was in that video, but I didn't end up making a collage around these two images in that video. But today is the day I'm gonna make this happen. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna use these two images and we're gonna make something really fun. So those are the two pairings we have to work with. Let's get started and see what collage we can make. Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My holy hope all right, I've pulled out a bunch of images for a couple of options for these two. Let's start with the shovel guy. So I have this idea that involves the moon, but there was a couple other ideas that I passed on that I just wanted to go through quickly. I didn't end up cutting these out because I don't think I'll end up using these. This first one was I thought maybe we could have this guy be digging through food. So I thought maybe we could replace one of these dishes with the mound of dirt and then put the guy in the dirt. And so he's kind of, you know, he dug his way to this feast. I also kind of like that he's smaller, so playing with scale a little bit. It's not super clear what is going on, so I think we're gonna pass on that, but it was an interesting option. The other idea I had for this was maybe a play on him being at the beach. It is a little bit confusing because it's dirt and not sand, but maybe you could get past that. But I did like the idea that he's wearing a suit and he it's very obvious he wasn't at the beach. And I thought this was kind of a fun idea and he does fit really well on this image. But I think the other idea I have is just a little bit better and I think you all will really like it. Let's see what we have here. I found this picture of the moon and I thought this mound of dirt worked pretty well on the moon. It's sort of the opposite of a crater, kinda is a crater. And then once I found this, I was thinking about the whole is the moon made of cheese thing. And I was thinking it might be funny if we put some cheese in his little hole here and maybe spilling out the side, you know? So it's like he dug into the moon to find cheese. I think that's a really funny idea and I kind of love it. Now, this is all the cheese that I could find in the books that I looked through. I think we don't need that many because this isn't a super big image. We just need a couple to really imply that there was lots of cheese. So I think we have enough here to do this. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Wow, I love this. <laughs> 
Now, I was a little bit worried about not having enough cheese, but I think I have the perfect amount of cheese. I do think there's one update to this that I can make that will make it just that much better and that much more perfect. And that is replacing this guy's head. This guy might be a famous shovel designer or some sort of successful shovel business owner. I really don't know, but I think it would be more fun if we replace it with someone or something or some creature that notoriously loves cheese. So I think if we take a mouse head and put it on this guy's body, I think that that will be the perfect touch to this. So it's like a mouse businessman came to the moon to dig up all the cheese. I love that idea. So now I just have to find the perfect size mouse head to put on this guy's body. So let's go hunt for that. I found this mouse head and I'm hoping that it's gonna fit perfectly on top of this guy's head. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be the right size. We have to cut his head off so it doesn't stick out the top, but I think that that is gonna work really well. I think this piece is in really great shape. Let's put it off to the side and work on the manatee and the eggplant. So I was thinking maybe this sunset picture in the background was kind of a romantic scene but I also kind of wanted to do something graphic and fun around the image. So I was thinking we could use this big sort of very colorful 3D shadow light thing and put that behind the couple and have that come out behind them and then go into the rocks and it's sort of propelling them out of the water. And I thought this might be a fun play. You always seem to know Hello, Ramona I push back the serious feeling The end's unknown To get back the life I used to know I'm really liking this background quite a bit more than what I had before. I think the color of this background works really well with the manatee and the egg eggplant sort of purpley color. So I'm thinking this is much better background. And because we have a lot more room, I'm thinking what if we try to add a couple other, other sea creatures that are holding fruits or vegetables. And I found this one manatee, which looks like it has arms that are perfect to hold something. And maybe we can put this guy, you know, up in the corner or something or down low and find one other animal to be holding on to a uh, vegetable. So I think that that might be a nice way to sort of complete this composition is have sort of a whole party of animals holding on. <laughs> to vegetables. So let's see if we can make that happen. So I absolutely love this. It's absolutely perfect, no notes. But I did just realize that I very recently made a different collage that has an underwater mammal holding a vegetable. So I don't really know why I'm in this <laughs> mood of having underwater creatures hold vegetables, but I'm here for it. I am totally 100% here for it. This is absolutely perfect. I love it so much. Let's get both collages out here. Wow, we had a good day. And here's the better look at the two collages that we made today. I love them both so much. And I'm so happy I was able to take these two image pairings that I have had for 
a couple years in this case and a couple months in the other case and turn these into really incredible and fun collages. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.